Origin of Symmetry is the second studio album by the alternative rock band Muse. Um, yeah, if you guys saw my showbiz review and you are a big Muse fan, I'm suggesting that you should avoid that review because I wasn't very positive towards the record. Uh, so there we go. But if you want to get triggered, watch this video, so there we go. Spoilers lay ahead with what I just said. Did I just saw a fucking... What the fuck was that? If there's a big ass spider around me, I'm gonna freak the fuck out and it's gonna be on tape. What the fuck was that? Oh, yeah. There's a fly on the... On the fucking light bulb, there we go. Fortunately, you're not a spider, so I don't care. Uh, there we go. So yeah, um, milking this review. <laughs> not milking, but uh, wasting time, I guess. Um, that was not implemented into the video, so there we go. Um, yeah, second studio record by the band. I did like this record way more than I did uh, Showbiz. But you know, to um, you know, overcome Showbiz by my standards isn't really difficult. So there we go. Um, so we start off, oh yeah, there's by the way a request by Miralex67, I believe, who said that this is the best news record. So high expectations right there, well not really, but still had a little bit of, little bit of expectation for this record. Uh, so we have Newborn and this is without a doubt, yeah, this is probably the best song of the record. Uh, Mew Unfortunately news always blows their load on the debut or on, you know, the debut song, they also did it on, um, oh, you probably see the fly by now, really. Fuck it, I'm gonna leave it in. The fly is literally sitting on the lens right now. Fucking hell. That's gross as fuck to look, this is gonna be fun to look back, but there we go. Or gross, you know, the, um, you know, fucking hell. Um, whatever you like, you know. But newborn. Yeah, it's flying away. Fucking fly. Uh, Newborn is a great song. <laughs> Fucking hell, so professional. Uh, Newborn is a great song. I really like the metallic edges that the song has. I really like that it's sort of a newborn muse in a way. It's heavy. It's distorted. It's kind of progressive as well. I love the drums on this track. Um, yeah, and the song is overall great. I just really like it. This is probably the best muse song I've heard so far. And I've listened to the Black Holes record, so that should tell enough. Uh, then we have Bliss, which is kind of a really soft and beautiful melodic pi uh, piano section. Very beautiful, very naked, very st uh, stripped. Uh, the song sounds very naked and very revealing while not losing any of its magic. Uh, the song is quite beautiful, I did really like it. It sounds very different from Newborn, which makes Muse a diverse band. Which I already knew from Showbiz, but I did not enjoy the diversity on there. Because diversity doesn't always mean it's good. It can also make really bad records. And although Showbiz isn't bad, it certainly wasn't good, in my opinion. Uh, then we have Space Dementia, another great track, uh, great title as well. Very spacey, very atmospheric, great title, second time I think. Uh, this song is overall really good, I did, I did really like the metallic edge again it is kind of a newborn volume 2 it is kind of a, a clone song but the title was way better it has a longer length it is arguably even better than newborn although not in my opinion it's fucking in my face right now jesus fucking in my face I I iconic lines right there uh then we have hyper music which is kind of a little bit too distorted for me three minutes and 21 seconds this song just jumps at you it has the typical matthew bellamy screams or screams the kind of dramatic yells that he does fuck it uh, yeah, I, I need to get a fucking um how's the thing called again you know that uh yeah need to fucking slap the fly uh pretty good song annoying as fly <laughs> But uh, yeah, this song is overall uh, pretty good, but it is a little bit too raw, it is a little bit too... Um, I'm watching you fly. It is a little bit too incohesive for my, you know, for my taste. Then we have Plugin Baby, which is three and a half minutes long. 
A uh, very consistent song, has a lot of um, heavy arrangement. This is arguably Muse's first heavy metal song in a way. It is very heavy, very disjointed. It sounds kind of like, uh, you know, Hyper Music Part 2, but actually a better version of it. So that is a, a nice improvement. I believe this is the biggest hit of the record. Although I wouldn't really recognize that, I would more put Newborn or Bliss on that pedestal. But P Plug and Baby is still a pretty good track, and I can see why people. You know why? Why it is the po most popular track and the most people's most people's favorite on this record. Now we have Citizen Erase, which is definitely a really interesting track. It reminds me a little bit of Citizen Kane in a way. That's very old as movie, but a classic. Um, but this song is very uh, very classic in a way. It is seven minutes long and nineteen seconds, which makes it the longest song of the entire record and arguably of Muse's career, but. I have no clue which one that might be. Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, probably Miralex is gonna correct me because Rock Do is kind of my um, my prog. You know, he, he kind of corrects me on every prog effort. Black Queen corrects me on every Queen uh, thing. Uh, Miralex is kind of a music guy right now, so there we go. I I have a guy for everything. Oh, now we have a fucking wasp here. Fucking no. Just the whole family is joining me with this. Uh, with this review, fucking hell. The old bug family, or however you want to call it. Um, yeah, pretty great track. I think that the length is great. I think it's way up there with the first five songs. So, arguably, the first side of this record is flawless in a way. Although, I wouldn't say that it is near flawless, though. It is a great first half. And then we get into the second side of the record, and I said first side because the first side was brilliant, in my opinion. But the second side is a little bit F for me. Micro cuts was alright, three and a half minutes long. It kind of repeats the, the success of the first side. Not really a lot going on there. A screen Ager is a really interesting title. Four minutes and 20 seconds long. Uh, yeah, this song probably um, is kind of a modern uh, betrayal of, you know, teenagers that uh, are, are, are at the screens all the time. I think it is a clever title. The song is clever as well. It has some nice... Um, musical passages going on with it but overall i think the title is a little bit retarded i think that um porcupine 3 did it way better with fear of the fear of blank planet one of my all-time favorite records which portrays you know the screen ager thing way better than Muse did on air so there we go and i think the title is also retarded as fuck and porcupine 3 actually made a record that was a reference to a rap record which i hate fear of black planet and they made it an actual good record, Fear of a Blank Planet, which is fucking great, I love that record. But that's probably no surprise. Then we have Dark Shines, you know, uh, every fucking uh, opportunity I have to mention that band, fucking hell, I do it. But uh, Dark Shines, uh, very interesting track, very heavy, very dark, very uh, beautiful title, Dark Shine, sounds very, very good. Um, yeah, the song is overall very edgy, very, you know, Edgelord and stuff like that, but it is a good song. You know, not every song that is edgy is bad. You know, you have some good songs like Dark Shines, which is actually pretty good, and you should give it a chance. It is a pretty good song. Now we have Feeling Good, which is uh, arguably the feel good tune of the record. I didn't really feel this track, although it is a single, and it is probably the most catchy song of the record. I didn't, didn't really feel the song. It was alright, but it wasn't the best. And then we have, uh, and it's also the shortest song on the record, 3 minutes and 19 seconds, so it should tell you enough. And then we have the last song, which is uh, a great Black Sabbath song, by the way, which is Megalomania. And I'm actually gonna look up if this was a Black Sabbath song, but I, I'm pretty sure this is a Black Sabbath song, so there we go. Um, yeah, the song overall was kind of uh, tremendous, it was, well tremendous in, as in the days it was a big song for the band I believe because it was really big produced, it felt really gigantic on the mix, it felt really gigantic in general if I can say the damn thing. Uh, so this song is overall very very good, um, I did like it a lot but I cannot help it to you know to remind myself of the Black Sabbath record Sabotage and their Megalomania. Uh, because that song is way better and I think it's fucking amazing. Um, yeah, Megalomania, but it's 9 minutes and 46 seconds long, so it kind of destroys uh, Muse's Megalomania on here. 
Which is not really a fair argument to make, I know, but... You know, it reminds me of a way better band. Sorry Muse fans, I like Muse, but Black Sabbath is live. Black Sabbath created a fucking genre. And Muse kind of, you know, did already what other artists did in the past, so there we go. Um, but overall, this was a good disc. This was way better than Showbiz, and I think it's actually better than uh, Black Holes. Origin of Symmetry is called the best record in the discography. So, this is probably the highest rating that I'm gonna give Muse to this day, which is an 8.5. Um, I believe Absolution is requested by Miralax, or it is about to get requested, I don't know. But I am gonna do the record as well, because I'm generally positive about the band. Because I, I've given a 7, now an 8, and a 6. Last video, so there we go. Uh, so there we go. Um, good record, probably the best one. So there we go. Um, hope you've enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think about Muse and their Origin of Symmetry record. Do you think I should have given it a 10? Although I heavily disagree with that, but I, you know, 8.5 is still pretty good. So there we go. Uh, so let me know what you think about it. Actually, uh, The Guardian gave it a, a 1 out of 5. So if you want to hate on somebody, hate on The Guardian, not on me. Because I still gave it an 8.5, so fuck off. And Q is kind of the nice guy of the reviews, which, which gives everything a 5. I mean, come on now. They mostly give the highest ratings, and they, they were the only ones to give it a 5, so there we go. A 5 out of 5. I wouldn't give this record a 5, but it's like a 4. I would give it a 4, maybe a 4 and a half and if I'm in a generous mood, so there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think about this record by Muse. Pretty good, I would say. You know, I've heard better. Not by the band, but by other artists, so there we go. Yeah, let me know what you think about the record. I did enjoy it, but you know... It's probably the highlight of Muse's career, which is kind of sad for me because it's gonna go downhill from here. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about it. Hope you've enjoyed this video, like I said, 30 times already. Uh, God bless, safe, take care. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Like this video for more videos like this one. And I'm gonna stop repeating myself and end this video before, you know, it drags on too much, which it, which it already did. So have a nice day. Uh, check out Muse. Uh, let me know what you think about music in the comments down below and I will discuss it with you. God bless, safe, take care and peace.